what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back so today um we're doing some vikings reactions you guys have probably already seen um my reaction to the opener of part two of season six for vikings um if you have and you are one of those people that left the dislike thank you <laughs> because that's what i that's what i expected <laughs> it's what i expected i did not expect people you know the norms of people or i mean i think the i think the reaction is sitting there somewhere like 300 views at this point while i'm doing this reaction and um some dislikes are there and i'm pretty sure the dislikes are going to grow because nobody likes when you talk <laughs> um other than the fact people don't like when you when you talk bad about something that they like and that's fine that's okay a difference of opinion is is never really welcomed really you know so you got to take what comes with that i knew that it was not going to be a popular opinion um another thing is i don't post my my reactions on youtube this is what happened i knew there was going to be a rush of people trying to 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 watch my reaction to this um you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then it's going to be a huge drop off, you know, after that, when people realize I don't post my reactions on YouTube. But other than that, I feel like some of those dislikes are also going to come in from people who disagree with what I had to say in my review of the episode. And is that um, Bjorn's death was very underwhelming for me. And um i'm not saying that they didn't do a good job you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that they didn't do a good job of of it i'm saying for me and how i felt about it i felt like it was really underwhelming for me and i felt like bjorn's death was forced and that's just me now if you can come into this um second part with no expectations expectations kudos to you some people say that the golden um the whole golden land um i think i saw a comment about it saying uh somebody said something i, I don't remember what it is um you know but we're gonna see how it goes we're gonna see how it goes as i said i am watching the episodes i'm gonna give my opinion as i go along doing one episode per upload um but i'm gonna try to crank these out as quick as possible i got nine more to go so thank you guys so much man for even interacting with it because it seems like only when you have something you know to say towards a certain thing that people actually show up to actually watch your videos it's so weird i get more views on videos when i'm being super critical about a show than when i'm super positive about a show it's it's so weird to me it's just like if you don't like something that the masses love you get hate <laughs> you know it's so it's so weird to me and it's not like i'm saying i'm not enjoying what i'm watching because you see my reaction from watching the show and just watching up for what happened there's certain things that are happening in the show that i just don't understand where it's going to lead but that's a good trait to have in any tv show so if i'm confused now about why they're doing certain things like king harold escaping um you know if i'm confused about that stuff that's if if that's going to be payoff later do not spoil it in the comment section you know what i'm saying like i don't want you guys to go in the comment section and spoil it for me and say oh it's gonna get better or something like that um because i want to see what they do because god knows we don't want another game of thrones ending you know we don't want another one of that so i want to see what they do i mean pretty much everybody that started that we started with the series now is dead everybody pretty pretty much is they're out of the picture you know what i'm saying granted i, I don't know if they're if floki is going going to come back at some point he has to you know what i'm saying i'm hoping that they bring him back because i don't know what happened you know what i'm saying like there was no confirmed death for floki we have to have a confirmed death 
for Floki. That has to happen. Like, like I'm serious. It has to happen. Else, it's losing points for me. <laughs> you know? Um, so, I'm just saying. And as I said about Buren Zed, it's not that they didn't do a very good job. It just didn't have the impact for me as when Ragnar and um, Lagatha died. I think... Don't get me wrong, it was a great scene. They did an excellent job of how he went out with the arrows in the chest and lifting the sword. Everything was done well. I just felt like the way of what led up to Bjorn's death, it just, for me, just felt underwhelming. And maybe I'm the only one that feels this way, but I'm not going to take that back because you dislike my video. <laughs> so, let's get to the action i will see you guys for the review of episode 12 let's go all right so episode 12 of vikings definitely definitely was a, a better episode in my opinion that's not to say that the first one was bad but good great great start so let's talk about some of the stuff that is happening here so let's talk about Kattegat first um so the situation in Kattegat them trying to find a new ruler so they have summoned the whatever <laughs> people to come down and um you know them to do an election so it's between um gunhild and what her name is i um it's not igor <laughs> um what her name is i don't remember her name okay i'm super bad with names you guys should know that by now i, I don't remember names very easily so you guys know who i'm talking about it might come back to me as i'm talking about it but the situation between Gunhill, Eric, and what's her name? So, in my opinion, I think because he's playing them against each other, I think he wants to be king. So he want maybe he wants to see if Gunhill will take her out. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he wants to see that. I don't think she should. She she was trying to she slept with him because she's trying to influence him more to her side and i think that he know she knows that eric is probably playing both sides you know um and in my opinion at this current moment um gun hill would be the best fit but i don't think any of them is fit to lead so it, it's it's for me it's just like um i as i said i think gunhill will be the best choice out of everybody that's in Kattegat right now she would be the best choice she's a shield maiden um she's no lagatha but i think she could do a pretty good job you know what i'm saying um with it because she's she's stern you know what i'm saying she's vulnerable when she needs to be vulnerable i mean at the end of the day you know what I'm saying? She she kind of brings that same feeling as when Lagatha was in charge. I don't know if she would do as much for Kattegat as Lagatha did, but I think she would be the best choice. Now, um, you know, with, with, with the other girl and, you know, the other wife and her baby situation, you know what I'm saying? She's saying that she knew she was pregnant before she was before she was raped now you can always say that but did she was she or maybe i don't remember from you know what i'm saying maybe i just don't remember from um part one if she ever mentioned that before she got raped that she was pregnant i don't remember her you know holding her belly or anything like that i don't remember it, I'm, it just might just be slipping my mind um it might just be slipping my mind but she is not fit to be no queen she's gonna run Kattegat into the ground um she might as well 
you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that would be some some sort of bull crap if she ends up being queen. But I think Eric wants to be king, and I think that's why he's trying to kind of plot with them against each other and maybe you know get some ass at the same time i think that's what he's trying to do but at the end of the day i don't think either three of them is really fit to be the leader of katagat you know um but i think gunhill would would do the best job out of all three of them okay so all right so let's talk about golden land storyline right now it's piquing my interest a lot more now after this episode that's why i said this was a great episode because at least it seems like it's actually moving along and it's getting somewhere we are seeing the conflict between shetlu and the other dude as i said terrible with names kill me in the comment section if you will um right so uber they received the news about bjorn and you know I like the way how Uber, Uber, I like the way how he handles it. He handled it, you know, doing a toast. You know, there's no need to to cry over Bjorn, you know. Um, and I also, I, I just like the like the way how they handled that. You know, do that brought the news. They celebrated the toast. You know what I'm saying? He lived a a, a, a good life. He was a legend. He was a hero. Good times, right? But then um, Ube did say something in this episode that really um, stood out to me. You know, he did he did say something that really stood out to me that you know Ragnar never wanted to be king, and that is so true. It's um, it's facts. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you there's nobody that can say otherwise that you know what i'm saying he despised being king he was just chosen by default because he killed the dude you know what i'm saying that was king at the time he was just chosen by default um took the sword and everything he was just chosen by default and then he just he did it because that was just his natural that was just his natural leadership qualities that he had faded him to be in that position, you know, um, to, to stand up for, you know, the right things and, and, and stuff like that. Family was the most important thing to Ragnar. Ragnar could give a damn about royalty. You know what I'm saying? Um, he just wanted to travel and see the world and meet great people and, make, and, and to, to do things that were better for his family if he had to fight to get it he would do that if he had to talk you know what i'm saying to other kings or queens or whatever to get it he would do that because he just wanted better for his family for his people you know what i'm saying and those are just kingly qualities you know what i'm saying so um he excelled in that and that's the reason why anytime there's a callback to Ragnar I'm gonna be super happy about it because as I said seasons one through four was the golden era of this series hands down I dare you to challenge me you know what I'm saying um, lot, I know there are people out there that think that season six is the shit and nothing can 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 top it or <laughs> whatever the situation is but if you've really been following this series for the story you would understand where I'm coming from when I when it comes on to certain things because we've been on this channel been super critical of Vikings especially throughout season five which I believe is the weakest season of the entire series um, so season six has really picked it back up as I've said in part one they picked it back up kind of went back to their roots and stuff like that um and as and i'm reiterating it again it's not that i did not like season 6 episode 11 which was the last episode it's not that i did not like it it's more of like i did not feel the impact of bjorn's death but if you did that's fine that's okay you know what i'm saying um 
Another thing I wanted to talk about in this episode is what's going on back in Rus or wherever they are. Right? We got there. Prince there coming, telling Ivar, you know what I'm saying? Like we're we have assembling our army, just wait for the signal. We have backed Oleg into a corner. So don't give up. We're out there, we're getting ready. Right? He's bearded up and stuff like that. I'm surprised he can even talk properly because that thing was through his mouth right that the, the the chain and stuff was through his mouth i'm surprised he can even talk properly because usually that would affect you you know over time so in any case um, sorry so when it comes on to what's going on over there in Rus. I think the most interesting thing is what's going on with Ivar right now because it looked like Ivar got some. Like, seriously, like, got some. I, I don't even know how she, she got it up for him. I I mean, are they trying to tell us that he actually did have sex with Freitas? Like, are, is, is that what hap really happened? Because I thought she... Cause, no, she didn't. She didn't because we know she went and, and got pregnant by some other dude and then said it was Ivar's baby right so um in this situation it seems like they did it and now you know <laughs> it's the post the post nut clarity you know what I'm saying the post nut clarity ain't quite hit him yet you know what I'm saying it ain't quite hit Ivar yet Cause he's out here giving up all the information i know this woman was up to no good you know what i'm saying you he was holding out he was holding out but now that he got some she got him in the right place most and and this is exactly a situation that even goes on today with women this is how women get a lot of stuff that they want you get what i'm saying this is how a lot of women get what they want they have sex they have sex with you and then they ask you for stuff. It happens. You got to have that post nut clarity, man, to be like, nah, B. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it ain't quite hit him yet. Um, so he's out here just giving up all the information, leaving no details out. I'm like, why would she ask a question that is so specific? Aren't you not going to ask? You get what I'm saying? That question is so specific. Like, I know that Prince there is alive. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, do you know where he is? You know, has he been in contact with you? Like, those are interrogation questions. You know what I'm saying? Those are interrogating questions. You don't answer those. You got to ask some questions first. Why is it that you're asking me these specific questions? And of course... You know what I'm saying? This, this, she's been trying to get through the, to Ivar for the longest time, and I really do think that she's not going to betray Oleg. I don't believe that she's going to betray Oleg. You know what I'm saying? And I think specifically because he probably saw Ivar looked at her. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why he's he sent her out on a path to get information from Ivar just in case he's planning anything, right? And here we go. I think this is going to be the downfall of all this planning now because I think um, whatever her name is, she's going to go back to Oleg and let him know. Now to talk about what's happening with um, Prince... What is name? <sighs> just had the name. Oh... <laughs> I just had a name on my tongue, man, and I completely, oh yeah, her name is Ingrid, oh my god, you see, you see, Ingrid, Ingrid, whatever her name is, that's her name, the other wife, that's her name, now that I'm trying to remember names, now, Igor is the little boy's name, the little prince, Igor is his name, okay, so, I've remembered all the names now, congratulations, Terabyte, you remembered all the names, <laughs> all right, so, Igor situation is very specific because is he trying to, to let him grow up fast enough so he dies in battle 
I think that's what Oleg's plan is. This is my opinion. I think he wants to make him grow up fast and say, oh, I'm trying to teach him a lesson, blah, blah, blah. Then he puts him in a battle because he has to learn or whatever, and he dies in battle. And I think that's his whole intention of all of this. Situation with Vitzerk also, with um, him, you know, taking the, 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 um, the poppy smoke or whatever the situation is we all know the situation um that led to him stabbing lagatha you know what i'm saying he was on drugs he was out of his mind you know what i'm saying he was a junkie and he got back sober and he was tempted and he couldn't resist so i didn't want to i don't want to see him in that position again i know i, I know i'm not rooting for the roos and them you know, they're on that side. I'm not rooting for them. But I don't want to see him like that again. You know what I'm saying? So, in any case, guys, I think I've covered everything in the episode. I'm going to move on to watching episode 13. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. I will see you guys for the next one. Leave a like. Leave a dislike. Leave a comment. Whatever you so choose. Because at the end of the day, that's all it is. <laughs> and my opinion is always going to stand I don't backtrack on anything I say on this channel So if you don't like what I had to say on episode 12 I'm also like episode 11 It is what it is Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always I know this video is probably not going to get a ton of views like the last one um, But hey because I usually don't do that much views anyways, but it's okay. I um, appreciate you guys nonetheless. See you guys for the next one. Peace.